And today's class is going to ask the question, does extinction matter? And we're going to go into it in some depth because we're not just going to ask whether or not extinction matters in terms of the loss of species we know and love, like tigers and bears and so forth, but we're going to ask, are there environmental consequences to extinction? And I want to share with you, I think, what biodiversity is. And I think the best way to do that is to show you, starting in 1986, share with you some of the pictures that I and my spouse have taken. These are us when we were graduate students studying biodiversity in the Costa Rican rainforest. And we've been taking pictures every, ever since. And what we'll notice, which I think you'll notice if you go outside and take a walk in a park or go to a garden or just watch Animal Planet or read National Geographic, that the world is filled with biodiversity. And there are three things to note about biodiversity. One is that species vary in their morphology, in their color, in their behavior. And that species, the second thing to note is that species are found everywhere. They're found in arid environments, wet environments, salty environments, freshwater environments. They're found in the ice of the Antarctic and the Arctic, and they're found in the sands of the hot regions of the world. So biodiversity is found in every kind of habitat, and there are lots of different kinds of habitats. But the third thing to know is less easy to see, and that's the fact that all of these species affect their environment. They modify the vegetation. They feed on one another. They facilitate one another if they're pollinators. They change the world around them, and we do the same. Life actually modifies life, and this will become important later on when we talk about the third aspect, which is often forgotten about biodiversity, that life influences the environment around us.